Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will talk about the patella. If you have not subscribed my channel, then please subscribe it because we bring very interesting and informative videos for the MBPS students. So let's start with the video. So this is the patella, right? So uh, is this the largest sesamoid bone in our body? Now why a bone, bone is called as the sesamoid bone? Because it is uh, developed or arise from a tendon. So from which tendon does patella arise? So it arises from the quadratus femoris tendon. It is situated in front of the lower end of the femur about 1 cm above the knee joint. So I have said you before also in the femur video that, that this is the femur lower part. Okay. And in the lower part of the femur here will be attachment of the, um, of the patella. Okay. Now next. The side determination. How we will determine the side of the patella? So this um, patella is a triangular shape as you can clearly see uh, with its apex directed downward and the apex is a non-articular posteriorly. So in the posterior side as you can see this uh, apex side it is non-articular. Okay and the anterior surface is roughened and, uh, and uh, non-articular and the upper three-fourth of the posterior surface will be smooth and articular okay this the posterior side will be articular side and the anterior side will be roughened with with no non-articular surface okay and the posterior articular surface is divided vertically okay uh, into larger lateral and smaller medial part so if you divide uh, you can see it clearly and if you draw a line actually from the vertical side then you will get a larger lateral part and a smaller medial part now if you want uh, to already have identified if this is the lateral side and this is the uh, medial side already have identified this is this is the lateral sorry the left side patella so if you have the patella with you then please check it out which sided patella is it for more uh, confirmation of which sided patella it is you can do one thing you can place the patella in a place so what it will happen, this patella will lie, will fall down in the lateral surface because lateral surface is the bigger surface I said you, so it will fall on the lateral surface. So which surface is it falls? It is the lateral surface. Okay, so this is the left sided patella. Okay, now moving into the features. The patella has an apex, three borders, the superior border, the lateral border, so this side will be the lateral border and this side will be the medial border and it has two surfaces the anterior surface front and posterior behind so this will be the posterior surface the apex is directed downward is roughened and vertically ridged and it is covered by the extension from the tendon of the rectus femoris so it will be extended by the femoris rectus femoris and it is separated from the skin by the popliteal bassa okay now next the posterior surface is articular on its upper three-fourth and non-articular in its lower one-fifth. Okay. Uh, the articular area is divided by a vertical ridge I said you. The larger lateral, sorry, the larger lateral part and the smaller medial part. Now, uh, another vertical ridge separates the medial stripe into medial portion. Okay. So it uh, again separates the uh, 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 sorry a uh, vertical ridge again separates the medial part, the lower, smaller medial part. The strip uh, articulates with the reciprocal strip on the medial side of the intercondylar notch of the femur during the full extent full flexion time. Okay, and the rest of the medial portion and the lateral portion of the articular surface it divides into by the two transverse line into three pairs of facet. Okay. So this lateral side will be, uh, will be no, uh, this lateral side will be um, there in the full extension, full flexion, and it will be joined joined with the intertrochanteric uh, line or the fossa. But this intertrochanteric fossa, sorry, intercondylar fossa, and this uh, medial side, medial part of the medial side, and this the full lateral side will be divided into uh, um, few quadrant, uh, into six quadrant actually by the two transverse ridge okay now next during the different phases of movement of the knee different portion of the patella articulates with the femur 
and the lower pair of the articular facets articulates during extension as you can see in the lower pair it will articulate articu uh, of the articular fossa will articulate during the extension so this two part will articulate during extension the medial pair will uh, uh, act in the beginning of the flexion and the upper part will act in the mid flexion time and the medial stripe during the full extension flexion of the knee as i said you before okay so this all are the thing you have to remember very clearly now moving into the attachment of the patella so if this is a patella the superior border or the base provides the insertion into to the rectus femoris in front and to the vastus intermedius behind so in front there will be rectus femoris and behind it will be vastus um, vastus vastus uh, intermedialis okay and lateral border so this is the lateral border as you know so this part is the lateral border it will give insertion to the vastus lateralis and in the medial part there will be the med, uh, in the medial part there will be the attachment of the vastus medialis in the upper two third okay the non articular area of the posterior surface this one it will provide the attachment to the ligamentum patelli below and related to the infra patellar pad of fat okay so this all other thing you have to remember in the attachment the very uh, easy attachments are there vastus uh, medialis in the medial side vastus lateralis in the lateral side medialis will be more downward uh, and the uh, above you will get vastus intermedialis behind and in front you will get the attachment of the rectus femoris okay so this you have to remember plus this uh, um, arrangement the vertical rigid device the separation and each the action of each and uh, every uh, every areas of the uh, patella you have to remember so if this video was a little helpful to you then please like subscribe share with your friends comment below and also follow me on telegram instagram and facebook thank you so much